So word this morning of another potential summit between Kim Jong-un and President Trump, Greg Palcott, live in Seoul, South Korea, for more news on that. And what is the reaction on that there, Greg? Hi, Bill. Yeah, I'd say the reaction is mixed to mostly positive. I think anything to give peace a chance on this Korean peninsula is welcome. The invitation came in a letter from Kim to Trump. The White House called it warm and positive. They say they're open to the idea and they're working on coordination. There are, of course, hitches, however. A U.S. official tells Fox News it is, quote, full steam ahead on the North Korean production of nuclear warheads. One report put the number made just this year at nine. And Kim apparently still demanding that the U.S. agree to that declaration of the end to the Korean War. The U.S. wants action on denuclearization before it does anything. Here is the take of one expert. Take a listen. Because they are so unconventional, it's not surprising uh, that Kim Jong Un would be pushing for another summit. Is it uh, a good thing? Well, you know, it's a risky thing. Now, one way to take a bit of the risk out, South Korean President Moon will be meeting with Kim in yet another summit. That happens next week. According to Moon, however, it really is important to get that one-on-one -on -one relationship, the United States, North Korea, back on track again, Bill. Sir, on another matter, but certainly related, we understand there's been progress in identifying the remains of those soldiers returned from North Korea. What's happening in that, Greg? Yeah, Bill, some, some good news coming out of the thawing of uh, relations between North Korea and the United States. The word we're getting that is that forensic scientists at a center in Hawaii have identified two sets of remains of soldiers which have been returned by North Korea after missing since the Korean War. It was feared that it would take years to identify those remains. But in fact, there were 55 sets of remains returned. And according to the experts, there's 5,300 Americans still missing north of the DMZ. Thank you, Back Greg. Good to have you. Good to have you. Back there in Seoul, South Korea.